All right, what is going on guys? So today I wanna to break down how I set up and structure my TypeScript project. So this is not gonna be something like a Next app or a React app or whatever. Those already have pre-built really nice scaffoldings to them. This is gonna be the sort of thing like cron job, a, an express server, something like that. The stuff that doesn't really have a pre-built structure to it and where you need to go ahead and write your TypeScript files and then you need to compile them, set up a sort of dev server, kind of workflow and then build them, deploy them, so on and so forth. So I want to show you my little setup for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually build this out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run npm init dash y. So don't need to fill in anything special. We're going to get our package.json. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to install TypeScript. So we're going to do npm i dash d TypeScript. So we get TypeScript installed. And now that we have this installed and we're doing it as a dev dependency, once we have that installed, we can go ahead and initialize the TypeScript for our app. So what we're going to do is we're going to do npx tsc dash dash init. So that we've initialized this, we're going to get our tsconfig.json. And now I'm going to make my first major change. And that's going to be, I'm going to change my source. So we're going to go ahead and there it is. We're going to uncomment this and I'm going to change this to be source. And then we're going to go ahead and change my out directory to be uh, we're going to uncomment this as well, and we're going to make this into dist. So now we have these two directories. We can go ahead and create our source directory. So within here, I'm going to make my app.ts, and then I'm just going to do console.log um, app run. So nothing fancy here. This is where you could put your cron job, your express app, whatever. The whole point of this is not to go over what you can do within here, but sort of show you the structure that can show you the structure that can surround this. So now that we've got all this set up, I like to use tsup to build my TypeScript. You can use TSC, but I like tsup. It's a little faster and it's just more lightweight and nicer. So I'm going to do npm i dash d tsup. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we need to go ahead and configure our uh, dev scripts. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a build script and that is going to be tsup uh, source. So then we're going to be building everything within the source directory. And then we're going to go ahead and do um, start, which is going to be node dis slash instead of index. We want this to be app because I like calling my thing app personally. So we go ahead and define our main. We define this and now we can go ahead and do npm run a build. So we can build this and then we can do npm run start and now we can run our app here. So the last thing I kind of want to set up is an npm run dev. So every time we're running our app or building it, we don't want to constantly run build, start, build, start. We want to have a dev command. So we're going to do dev, but we're going to need to install a couple things for this first. So with this dev script added, we need to actually fill this out. So a package I'm going to need to install real quick is going to be concurrently. So I'm going to do npm i dash d concurrently. And this will allow me to run multiple commands in the command line all at the same time. And then I'm going to need to go ahead and run nodemon and install nodemon because that will allow me to run the node app. That will allow me to run node every single time or rerun the app every single time I make a change. So we're going to do npm i dash d nodemon because all of these are dev dependencies. We don't need these in prod. So we're going to go ahead and do npm i dash d nodemon. So that we have all of this in here, we can go ahead and add our scripts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do concurrently and then I'm going to add uh, this uh, Copilot knows what I want. So it's going to be tsup source watch. So I'm going to be watching this directory and every single time there's a change within here, I'm going to rebuild my TypeScript. And then afterwards, it's going to concurrently run the nodemon, which is going to constantly refresh dist app.js. So now we've done that, we can do npm run dev. We're going to see in here, we have our app running in here. If I go into my app here, I'm going to do app run change. We can go ahead and save that and now it will run here. So again, nothing too crazy, but this is how I like to structure my apps. This is great for an express app or for a cron app or some basic script or whatever. It's just a great way to structure your TypeScript, a good way to organize it within the source directory, output it to disk so that if you wanted to actually deploy this to some CI CD or to some hosting provider, you can use this disk directory. You have a build command, a start command, everything works pretty simple. And that's about it.